The National Guard says you can, and they have. Here we go. Bringing the best anglers in the country to Lake Norman, North Carolina. Yes. Where trophy bass are in their sights. It's a battle for big fish. <laughs> Look at that one. And big bucks. A five bass limit. The charge is on. Next. Known as the Queen City, Charlotte's majestic colors shine in spring. This week, north of the city, a battle royale is taking place as the best bass anglers in the world take to the lakes to vie for a champion's crown and a prize worth a king's ransom. From Lake Norman, it's the third stop on the 2008 Walmart FLW Tour. This is the National Guard Open. Hi everyone, I'm Jason Harper here along with Charlie Evans and welcome to sunny North Carolina where $200,000 is on the line for our top angler. We've got an amazing field assembled here. Charlie, three of our top anglers have all been on a real hot streak lately. Jason, for the first time since 2005, we've got three anglers who've qualified for the top 10 for two events in a row. Glenn Brown, the Berkeley Pro, who's our top qualifier down in Alabama. And then Snickers Pro, Greg Pugh, he's really on a streak, side fishing for betting bass. And then there's that newcomer, Scott Canterbury, in only his third Walmart FLW Tour event, coming off a strong second place finish down in Alabama. And these guys are all chasing one angler, Sean Hernke. He was our leader after the opening round with a total sack after two days, 27 pounds, 11 ounces. It's not like I have a group of fish that I still working that I feel confident about. Every day that I fish this term, I fish new water and look for new fish every single day. So to these next two days are going to be no different. Just going to, whatever comes to me, uh, comes to me. But my main goal is just to uh, fish real efficient and, and uh, have no mistakes. Boy, and any mistakes here could be real deal breakers. Take a look at this field, extremely talented, headlined by National Guard Pro Brent Ayler, the 2006 Forest Wood Cup champion on Logan Martin Lake in Birmingham. Winning here will be a life-changing event for one of these talented pros, whether a rookie or a seasoned veteran. And with back-to-back -to -back top 10 finishes, Berkeley Pro Glenn Brown, he's on a roll this season. He didn't take on the trophy last time, but he's aiming to be the winner here, as we see in today's Prilosec OTC Top 10 to take off. I'm really excited to have made two top tens in a row. You know, I'm kind of back for revenge. I had kind of a poor tournament at Smith once I made the top ten. How many is that? That's four. Where's number five? Still swimming in the lake. Here I feel like I can do a little better. I mean, I really honestly feel like I could have an opportunity to win this one. I feel like I'm around the right quality fish to do really well. I really think this could be by far my biggest tournament ever right here. Off to the hotel now. The first two days have definitely been pretty golden. You know, you go down the bank, you catch everything you see. You know, you hate to say it, but it was almost easy. This lake is absolutely full of fish. I mean, there's so many ways you can catch them. The lineup for tomorrow. Shaky head, shaky head, wacky worm. It's just finding the better quality. I mean, it's ounces are huge here. It's hard to say if I can win it if I run into a couple right fish. Sure, 200,000 in the bank. All right, gonna go grab some food at the Outback, get my belly full, and get ready to catch a whole bunch of big bass tomorrow. We'll see y'all in the morning. Our ramps satellite time officially is 623. Oh. All right, it's day three, first day of the top 10. Uh, I'm not real nervous at all. If I can go do what I did the last two days, I'll definitely be in the hunt. Trying to go catch a whole great big bunch of fish, and we'll see you this afternoon. Right at the end of the bass spawn and just at the beginning of the shad spawn here on Lake Norman. There are two main patterns working here, targeting bass feeding on shad early in the morning and then looking for bedding fish after the sun gets up. Let's talk about the tournament rules. A field of 400 pros and co-anglers began this event. Their two-day total weights determine who made the top 10 cut. Today, everyone starts at zero again. The co-angler winner will be decided today. The pros will combine their weights from today and tomorrow to determine who walks away with the title. The state of North Carolina stretches from the ocean in the east to the mountains in the west. Lake Norman is right in the middle, just outside of the motorsports mecca of Charlotte. Anglers take off from Blythe Landing in Huntersville. 
Greg Pugh is just south of the Highway 150 bridge. He's another angler, Charlie, enjoying back-to-back -to -back top 10 finishes. Lewis Smith Lake was challenging for all of our competitors, but Greg found his way to a fifth place finish on his home lake. Oh man, second top 10 in a row, uh, boy, that's pretty awesome. You know, it's, anytime you make a top 10 during the year, it makes you feel good, but making two in a row, uh, that, that really feels good. Here's Greg fishing for side bass. Got one spotted, got one hooked up here. Good fish. Wow. This is the kind of fish that can make the difference in a tough tournament with a lot of fish caught, but not many big fish. Wow, in the net, over three pounds. Nice. Good job of netting by his co-angler, Andrew Limley. That's a good one to start out with. That's a great one to start your day. A three pounder is rare here on Lake Norman. Lots of two pounders, but a kicker fish is valuable. Our opening round leader, Sean Hernke, has been spending his mornings fishing docks for post-spawn bass. Sean has a solid fishing resume. Take a look at this. So he has a win on the Walmart BFL, the Strin Series, the Walmart FLW Series, everywhere except right here on the Walmart FLW Tour. You can see those little shad jumping around right against that boat. That's what we're looking for. Those shad are spawning. That's the early morning pattern we were talking about. There he is. He's got one up up here. Good fish. Right there. Good <laughs> job, that's yeah. going with Dirk Davenport. The shad are spawning around these boats in this dock, and the bass are coming up to feed on the shad. A kicker fish like this could make the difference between winning or losing this event for Sean. That is a bonus right there. Exactly what he was looking for. Good three pounder. That is a bonus right there. Yes. <laughs> well, the bass are biting in North Carolina, and there's a lot more action ahead at the National Guard Open here on the Walmart FLW Tour. I fish. I fish. I fish FLW. Wow, they are really hitting today. I'm twitching a six inch worm through the stumps. How about you? Same. Pumpkin seed or chartreuse? Chartreuse. That's a funny word. I wonder where they got that from. France. France. Hmm. You seem kind of quiet. You want to talk about it? A woman will say 21 million words before an Evan Rudy tech needs maintenance. Nope. A man will say 7 million. Only Evan Rude E-Tech goes three years without dealer scheduled maintenance. Visit EvanRude.com for details on our first cast of spring sales event. If the community calls on you, the National Guard's there. We put ourselves right into the heart of the storm. Hurricanes. Terrorism. Search and rescue. Wherever we're needed, we're there. That's what the National Guard is all about. I use the skills that I learned in the Guard every day. The National Guard is paying for my college and books. Everything is well covered. We became a team at Ground Zero. Bosnia. Afghanistan. And Iraq. This is your brother, this is your sister. You gotta look out for each other. I would do it again. And I would do the mission. That's my duty. That's my responsibility. I'm proud to be in the National Guard. Visit 1-800-GoGuard.com. We know when real fishermen have to rise and shine. That's why so many of our stations are open early. Because you've got to get to where the walleye are running. The bucket mouths are biting. Or you can run and gun and get to where the water's boiling so you can let her fly and reel in the big ones. BP is proud to be the official fuel of FLW Outdoors. Have fun out there. Want to win like a pro? Play FLW Fantasy Fishing and win your share of $7.3 million in cash and over 4,000 other great prizes, including a guaranteed $1 million grand prize. And it's free to play. Choose and track your top 10 pro team for each FLW Tour event. Join Players Advantage to access exclusive angler information, expert picks, live weigh-ins, and more. Make fantasy sports history. Log on to fantasyfishing.com and take home your share of $7.3 million. FLW Outdoors from the National Guard Open is brought to you by Walmart. Save money, live better. Chevy, the official ride of FLW Outdoors. Evan Root E-Tech. Visit EvanRood.com now for details on the first cast of spring sales event. Strin, 
the standard of dependability since 1958. M&M's, chocolate is better in color. And BP, Beyond Petroleum. Bud Pruitt is a veteran Walmart FLW Tour Pro who earned himself a top 10 berth right here, thanks to a great day two stringer. What an amazing day it was for him. Came from 96th place on day one, up to 10th place with a 15 pound, 15 ounce stringer. He's had six top 10 finishes, but has yet to win on the Walmart FLW Tour. <laughs> Got one hooked up here. Calling for his net from his co-angler, Mark Swink. Come on, baby. Yeah, yeah baby. Good fish. Woo. Thank, Thank you, Lord. Lord. Oh, just barely had him. Thank you, Lord. That's kind of what we're looking for, folks. One in the bag, four more to go. Nice two and a half pounder. Every ounce is going to count here today, Charlie. Local pro Hank Cherry placed fourth here on his home water last year. He didn't make the top 10 cut this time around, but it gives us an insider's look at this tricky fishery. Lake, Lake Norman, Norman is 32,000 acres. It's probably, probably got 32,000 docks. It's full of large mouth bass between a pound and a half to three pounds. Wow! It's a pretty easy lake to fish if you like to fish docks. If you don't like fishing docks, there's plenty of rocks and riprap because people spend millions of dollars each year riprap and full on. Fish, fish right now are in spawn and post spawn. Pre spawn's done. There's still a few spawners on the bed. But most of the fish are getting to a post spawn funk where they really don't want to bite, they don't want to act, they just kind of want to lay around and recuperate. Yes! People are going to be catching fish on a variety of different baits, crawling type baits. Yes! Things such as this trick worm wacky style. They'll catch some of them on a jig, catch some of them on a Cinco, a power minnow. He's going to fall down the bed, just kind of irritate him. The other half of that equation is the sunshine. If the sun comes out, post spawn fish are going to bite. And then your bait, such as your wake bait, your swim bait, and my personal favorite, the white jig, is going to play a huge part. The angler who wins this event is going to figure out the key to catching the post spawn bass. Whether it's flipping docks, throwing a swim bait, throwing a finesse worm out a little deeper, you're going to have to figure out a little something different. Thank you, Hank. Over now to Art Ferguson in the Chevy boat. His co-angler, Deidre Davison, began tournament fishing just last year in the Walmart BFL. This year, she's also been fishing on the Walmart FLW series. This is her first event as a Walmart FLW Tour co-angler. I wanted to run out of fish, so I figured what better way than to fish the FLW series because it gave me three days of fishing with awesome pros. It's been, been like Cinderella. Cinderella. It, it really has. has. I, I, I never, never anticipated that I would make it into the top 10. In the top 10 and already has a limit in the boat. Great job, Deidre. She's catching a lot of fish because Art Ferguson, her pro, has her around a lot of fish. He's only one away from his limit. Oh, that's a good fish. That's a good fish. Big fish right there. The cruising. This is good. At least it's not today. I'll get this fish tomorrow. They are absolutely in the process of... I got the fish going. Got it. Fish. Good fish. Number five hooked up here. Big fish. Another bonus pass for Art. Reach out to get that thing. Yes. Sweet. Thank you, Lord Jesus. What a fish, man. I saw that fish hooking around over there. Four pounder right there. Good eyes on Art, spotted the bass, then a great cast, good presentation. Landed that bait real soft right there, right in front of that bass, and just reached around and grabbed it. Good fish. That's a bonus bass to fill out his limits. That's what's going to win this tournament right there. Fish number five. That's what I'm talking about. All the anglers are looking for a sweet spot, including National Guard Pro Brent Ayler, who's on the move. Hi, I'm Brent Ayler. Stick around for more action at the National Guard Open at Lake Norman. Anglers have a big choice to make here today on Lake Norman. Target bedding bass for quantity or look for spawning shad for quality bass. Glenn Brown is making his second top 10 appearance in a row. At our last stop on Lewis Smith Lake, the shad were his ticket to the top 10. 
hit a 15 pound two ounce limit caught on schooling fish on top water. Today he's targeting side fishing bass on the bed. He's got one hooked up here. Coingler Teddy Bradley with the net. Got it. Yes. Side fishing bass yes. must be hooked in the mouth. See in the mouth. See in the mouth. Having this coingler verify that it's a legal catch. I pulled on that one for three days trying to catch it on and off. Finally paid off though, got that fish in the boat. <laughs> Good solid keeper, over three pounds. BP Pro Jim Moyna is from Minnesota, so maybe it's not surprising that he headed north today and he's already got a limit in the boat. Boy, well, there's a great big one right there. Got one spotted. He got, got him. him. Hooked up. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. It's a good one. Sunglasses are so important when side fishing. Got to be able to spot those fish, and make the yes. right presentation in the net. Yeah, good fish for Jim. Thanks, man. Good job, baby. Right. <laughs> Spotted that fish, flipped to it, and then a great hook set for Jim. Good job with the net by his co-angler Chad Pipkins. Yes. Well, so I look down, down and there's this, this thing, thing sitting there. there. I don't know what, what he's, he's doing. doing. That's number six for Jim. He can call with that fish and upgrade. Scott Canterbury is one of the three pros making back-to-back -to -back top 10 appearances here, but his story is the most amazing of the three, and not just because he's a rookie. He's the subject of today's Duracell Angler Spotlight. It's a dream come true for me to, to just be competing. But to make the top 10 two times in a row as a rookie has just been unbelievable. Get in here, baby! Woo! Going into the year, I really thought I could compete and do well. I thought I could you know, make some top 50 cuts, $10,000 cuts, and make some money, pay for the year. Come on with it! And it's just a dream come true to do it as well as I do. At the way in at Smith Lake, the whole auditorium was full of people. I knew probably half the people there. I mean, it was loud, it was fun. It was a week that I'll never forget. I had some bad news this week. My wife's got, got cancer. cancer. We, we found, found out Monday. But, but I, know I know she's pulling for me. I know they're, they're really, really proud of me right now. This is his dream since he was Taylor's age, five years old, but he's already a winner in all of our hearts. It was really an emotional week for us, roller coaster ride. I didn't even know to fish or just go home. She's got surgery the day after this tournament. It's been all good reports, the doctors have been real good, so the, the Lord's really taken care of us here lately. It's been a great year so far. Wow, what a great story. We certainly do wish he and his family the best. Everybody started that swim bait craze last year, and a little help from, I'm sure, Jay Ellis. Berkeley came out with one that's just phenomenal. It runs good every time you cast it. Berkeley hollow belly, and it's, uh, it's gonna be one of their big sellers. Scott's off to a great start today. He's already got a limit in the boat. He's hooked up again. Good fish. Take your time with that net. Got it. That's his ninth keeper of the day, and he'll be able to call with this one. That's the kind you have. That fish was tricked by a Berkeley hollow belly swim bait. A shad imitation bait that when worked slow through the water, that tail really wiggles, and the bass can't stand it. They gotta eat it when it comes by. That's the kind we're after. Nice job, Scott. Boy, lots of fish coming into the boats today. The question is, who can land a couple of big kickers? Jim Moyna's already got one, and he's looking for more. Hi, I'm Jim Moyna. Stick around for some more fantastic fishing. Every year, the FLW pros spend thousands of hours discovering breakthrough methods for locating and catching more and bigger bass in their quest for millions of dollars in prizes. Now you can put that big money fish catching information to work for you. Call 1-866-567-1960 now for a free copy of FLW Outdoors, the magazine that reveals the secrets of America's top professional anglers. With your free issue, you'll also receive an invoice for a full year of FLW Outdoors. 
stores. That's eight big issues for only $11.88, only 99 cents a month. Hook this great offer, and you'll also receive this free DVD of incredible FLW tournament action plus exclusive tips from the pros. We'll even throw in a free FLW decal. If you decide not to subscribe, simply return the invoice marked canceled. Either way, the free issue is yours to keep. Call 1-866-567-1960 now to get your free issue and start catching fish like this. Now get a 2008 Chevy Aveo Sedan LS starting at 12830 Precision-built performance, responsive engineering, and revolutionary design. Welcome to the accelerated look, feel, and all-out muscle of the new Ranger Z520 Comanche. Powered by the new 250 HO Evinrude E-Tech, the only outboard with no dealer scheduled maintenance for three years, this tournament-driven powerhouse is just one more reminder that real leadership isn't just tested by time, it's clocked by it. Evinrude E-Tech. Spend more time on the water. Lake Norman is a legendary bass fishery located in the backyard of North Carolina's largest city, Charlotte. And there's plenty to do in the Queen City. National Guard team angler Diane De La Garza shows us in this edition of National Guard Around the Town. Hi, I'm, I'm Diane, Diane De La Garza, Garza member of the National Guard, Guard Pro Fishing Team. team. I'm, I'm excited, excited to show you around Charlotte, North Carolina, home of the National, National Guard Open. Hoo-ah! Charlotte's, Charlotte's a really, really beautiful, beautiful city. There's lots, lots of fun things to do. We're here at a place called The Green, where there's shopping, art, restaurants, even a great place to just get some sun. Daydreaming about fishing. I love you. There's more to Charlotte than downtown. Come on. Here at the Lazy Five Ranch, where you can see animals up close and personal. Feels about like a three pound bass. There's emus, zebra, pumbelly pigs. Oh. My. God. Cows with really long tongue. Wow. <laughs> Only in North Carolina. When people think of Charlotte, they think racing. And I got the need for speed. Let's have a look. I'm ready. This is awesome. They turn the 500. <laughs> a lot of fun in Charlotte. The National Guard boat is full of champions today. Team pro Brent Ayler and his co-angler Shane LeHue. Brent won the 2006 Forcewood Cup at a half a million dollars in only a second year on the Walmart FLW Tour. And in the back of his boat today, his co-angler Shane won the 2007 TPF National Guard Junior World Championship in a $5,000 scholarship. This may be the boat to watch today, Charlie. Shane's a local here, and a little while ago, his home water gave him a big keeper. Stepping up from the junior ranks of fishing right to the very top of the Walmart FLW Tour and putting a good, solid fish in the boat. Charlie, I love the teamwork here. You've got the pro, Brent Ayler, helping him out here with the net. That's the teacher helping the student, in this case, two great former champions in the boat together. Here's Brent Ayler with his ninth keeper of the day hooked up. Stay on. Oh, come on. Needs a good kicker fish. No, this one's not going to help much. A little bit. I'm not so sure. Thank you. You get on the end of a cast like, like that. that. A lot of bow in your line. It's hard to get a set. Anybody can do it. Brent can do it. A finesse fishing expert. You know, Charlie, the anglers have been saying all week long, Lake Norman has millions of bass in it, but it's going to come down to catching those kicker fish. Yeah, two pounders are easier to catch out here, and we've got lots of those caught today, but only two anglers have added quality fish. Art Ferguson and Greg Pugh have found a kicker fish, and that will be what will make the difference today. Sean Hernke spent over an hour trying to get the fish that he hoped would be his kicker. He's interested, but he's one of those tough ones to catch. I think he's guarding fry. It's hard to tell. He's not really on the bed. But he's a nice one. Try to get that fish to bite. He got it. bit, and he missed it. Use another bait. 
And that one didn't work either. That was a pivotal part of my day right there. That just went south. You sit on one of those and it burns you. You won't be leading. Fishing for a fish for over an hour and then not getting it. It's got to really hurt. It's a lot of time wasted. Move to a new spot yeah. and it's got one hooked yeah. up here. Yeah. Taking his time, light line. Oh, oh yes. Good fish. Here it comes. Good it. Yes. <laughs> that one will help big time. Down in his throat. That's the kind of kicker he was looking for. Yes. That. Just saved the day. Well, that's a nice three and a half pounder. Charlie, you have to wonder though, he spent so much time on that fish he never caught, it could come back to haunt him. Sean Hernke puts a beautiful fish in the live well. And now Scott Canterbury is playing catch up, looking for his kicker fish. Hi, I'm Scott Canterbury. Come on back and watch me catch another one, they like normal. Discover black silk from Folders with bold, rich flavor that's exceptionally smooth. Wake up to Black Silk. We torture tested two cars to prove a point about maximum horsepower. The black car with Castrol Syntec, the red, the leading conventional oil. In torture tests, Castrol Syntec 5W30 maintained maximum horsepower 29% longer. Conventional oil got smoked. Don't you use conventional oil? Not anymore. Want more proof? Go to CastrolSyntec.com. It's more than just oil. It's liquid engineering. Wherever you're going, the new Highway 500C portable turn-by-turn -turn GPS from Lawrence Automotive is your best way to go. With a 20-gig internal hard drive, the Highway 500C features built-in high-detail mapping of the entire U.S. and virtually all of Canada. Plus, it's an MP3 music player, brilliant 256 color touchscreen, voice and visual directions, waterproof case, and a full complement of accessories. Next trip, take the affordable Highway 500C with you every turn of the way. Inside those headphones is something familiar, a battery. And if you think old batteries are the same, consider this. When even the firefighters have to get out, fire departments all over the world now depend on the T-Pass 3 communicator. There, no! And packed inside is the only battery T-Pass trusts, Duracell. So whether it's music to your ears or the signal that could save you, it just has to work. Duracell, trusted everywhere. See the difference. Smell the difference. Taste the difference. Wake up with Folgers and you'll wake up with the richest, most aromatic mountain-grown beans for a rich, smooth taste that will awaken your senses. Welcome back to the National Guard Open here on Lake Norman. Castrol Pro Mike Sermon is one of the top 10 left in this event. He's got one Walmart FLW Tour title to his name, but he's been waiting 12 years for number two. I'm really excited to make another top 10. My last top 10 was the Forest Wood Cup, and I came in fourth, and that was phenomenal fishing for a million dollars. When you're fishing for a million dollars, anything can happen. It's just so exciting. You know, one lucky big bite and you win a million dollars is just unbelievable. I won the very first ever FLW tournament back in 1996. First place back then was like $25,000. There's a big difference now. Now 10th place almost pays that, so I'm really excited to fish for $200,000. Even though Mike hadn't won since that first event back in 1996, doesn't mean he hasn't had a great career. 16 top 10s, and he's got one hooked up here. It's a small fish. I'm not sure it'll help. He's going to get it in to see. I got it. Boy, he's long and ugly, but I'll take it. He thinks that won't help just a little bit. He'll call with that one there. And every ounce counts. Being a successful angler means knowing about more than catching fish. It's about staying safe and comfortable on the water, including protecting yourself from the sun. 
Co-angler Kimberly Stryker shows us how in this edition of Fishing 101 presented by Coppertone. When you're outdoors as much as we are, you have to be prepared for whatever Mother Nature's going to throw at you. When it's cold and wet, rain gear and extra layers are really important. And on a sunny day, don't leave the dock without your hat, your sunglasses, and your sunscreen. I like to use Coppertone Sport Continuous Spray SPF 50. I love this stuff. Look how easy it is. It goes on clear, it dries fast, no rub, no mess. It provides UVA and UVB protection, so I know I'm covered. And it's ultra sweat proof, so I know it's not going to run in my eyes and sting when I'm out here fishing. And check this out. I love this no slip grip formula. It's the smartest thing you can do before you go out for a fun day of fishing. Put on your sunscreen, reapply, and always keep it with you. The longer you stay on the water, the more big and you fish. Want more fishing secrets from Kimberly Stryker and other FLW anglers? Log on to FLWOutdoors.com to watch all of our Fishing 101 lessons. For more tips, call 866-567-1960 to subscribe to FLW Outdoors magazine. You can also visit the website to vote for the Eagle Claw Hook Set Award. The winner from our last event on Lewis Smith Lake is Scott Canterbury. He receives a $500 Walmart shopping card presented by Eagle Claw. Here's BP Pro Jim Moyna still going strong. Here's a look back at his seventh keeper of the day. Yeah. It's a good one, too. Good solid fish that he used to call with. He can only bring in his best five. Thank you. Thanks. Yeah, that's, that's a good, good one. one. Back to fishing around the docks. And he's got one hooked up here. Another good fish for Jim. In the net. Thank you. Good fish Sweet. there. That one will definitely help. Sweet. You know what? I took, I took my way this worm up under that plank over there, the walkway, and, and I started jerking it out of there because I figured it, nothing was going to bite it. And all of a sudden, I saw this little one about 12 inches come dart like this. And then I just, for the heck of it, I dropped it back. And then all of a sudden, this thing grabs it close to three pounds. Sweet. That's the kind of breaks he's looking for. Snickers Pro Greg Pugh is on the move looking for those elusive kicker fish. We'll catch up with him when FLW Outdoors continues from the National Guard Open. Let's take this one for a test drive. I'll take it. Okay. We know when real fishermen have to rise and shine. That's why so many of our stations are open early. Because you've got to get to where the walleye are running. The bucket mouths are biting. Or you can run and gun and get to where the water's boiling so you can let her fly and reel in the big ones. BP is proud to be the official fuel of FLW Outdoors. Have fun out there. You know, Bobby, you couldn't ask for a better way to make a living. You said it, brother. I mean, there's nothing like being your own boss. Mm -hmm. You know, traveling from state to state, there's just no better way to see America. Yeah, being a pro fisherman is a great life. Professional fishing? You've got to be kidding me. I'm talking about driving a big rig, man. What greater opportunity to see America and receive good pay? Fishing? Oh, this is just way too much work. You know, you may be right. A great career on the open road is waiting for you. Hook up with PTSI today. Welcome back to the National Guard Open on Lake Norman. Before this tournament got underway this week, a number of our Walmart FLW Tour pros took to the water for a fun competition. And some interesting personalities joined them in their lightning fast Ranger boats. The FLW National Guard fishing team hosted members of the Hendrick Motorsports NASCAR racing team on nearby Mountain Lake for a fun fishing event. Woo! Two of the competitors were brothers Landon and Zach Castle. 
I, I fish the Walmart VFL as a professional out of the Great Lakes Division, and I also fish in the Strength Series Texas Division as a coinkler. I'm currently fifth at the points. Pretty stoked about that. We'll get them, man. We'll get them. Well, I get to uh, drive race cars for a living for the National Guard and, and for Junior Motorsports, which is kind of cool because that's what I've always wanted to do. Our, Our schedules, schedules are so busy because he races all summer and I, I fish all summer. We don't get to fish very much, but it's good to be in the water with him now. It's fun. It's good to see him. I think we'll be able to... I got a rock! <laughs> Before it was all over, hundreds of fish were caught by the FLW and NASCAR teams, but there's only one first place trophy, and it went to the team led by National Guard Pro Tim Klinger. Congratulations, nice job, guys. Back out now to Greg Pugh, who started the day with a nice fish, but he hasn't been able to land any more big ones. A few Daddy. minutes ago, we missed one. Oh, oh. <laughs> The pressure's on, Greg, and you can tell it is starting to show a little bit. Got one hooked up here. No missing on this fish. You can call with that one. Call that one a Berkeley Power Shaky Worm. Almost two and a half pounds, that will help. Over to the other Snickers pro in this top 10, Chris Baumgartner and his co-angler, David Hudson. Finally got one hooked up. He's only got two in the boat so far. Everybody's catching lots of fish but Chris. Number three comes in the boat. The only guy from North Carolina in the top 10 having a tough time in the second round. Yeah, Charlie, Chris has probably fished this water more than anyone in this top 10, but uh, this home field advantage, it's really not working for him. He had good days on day one and day two of this event, struggling here today. Maybe he's fishing places where he's caught fish in past years rather than concentrating on what's going on today and reacting to that. Opening round leader Sean Hernke is hoping to score his first Walmart FLW Tour win right here. Just two years ago, he won his first national level tournament at the Walmart FLW Series BP Eastern Division, as we see in today's Berkeley flashback. The final day, I really had just one stretch of bank, and, and I caught one fish on my very first cast. Yes! Went five and a half hours without another bite. But I knew at some point they would bite on that stretch of bank, and they did. They finally came up. Yes! I caught that last fish, and I knew I'd had it then. A lot of emotion and a lot of feelings came over, you know, for, you know, something that a natural I wanted since I was 16 years old and just worked my tail off to get there. It was a great feeling to uh, finally close the deal on at least a major tournament, and it was just a memory that I'll never forget. Sean won $100,000 there, even more at stake in this event. He's got one hooked up here. Six keepers in the boat so far. I don't know. It's not as big as what I was hoping, but it's a good one. Maybe you can call with this one. Slide it into this. That must, must be the male. There's a big one in there. He finished 161st in this event last year. What a difference a year makes for Sean Hernke. That's not the big one. But, but there's, there's a big one up there. there. He's going to use his digital scale to weigh this fish and we'll make sure he gets his best five in the live well. Two, two. two pounds, two ounces. That one he can't upgrade with. He can only bring his best five fish to the scales. Boy, Sean Hernke really putting himself in good position to win his first Walmart FLW Tour title. Hi, I'm Sean Hernke, and don't go away. We're really catching him here at Lake Norman in North Carolina. Yamaha raises the bar again with the all-new high-performance VMAX Series 2. First, we built in features that amped up Yamaha's legendary VMAX reliability. Then, we added another year to the limited warranty, giving you an impressive three years of coverage. VMAX Series 2, a powerful lineup you can trust to deliver durability, fuel economy, and awesome HPDI performance.
Visit ShopFLW.com for the latest and official FLW Outdoors merchandise, sweatshirts, t-shirts, hats, and more. There's something for everyone. FLW and TVF members receive a discount on every purchase. Visit ShopFLW.com to place your order today. Back out on the water with Glenn Brown, who's trying to make up a lot of ground here in the final minutes of today's competition. Glenn's brought in eight keepers so far, but looking for some good kicker fish. Yeah, get the hand on that one. Big old spot. Spotted bass in the Ooh. net. That one will help. Almost a two-pound fish here. He can call with that one. Spotty. That's going to give him a few extra ounces, but hey, if he's going to try to catch Sean Hernke at this point in the tournament, he's got to upgrade by pounds. Over to Mike Sermon, who also has caught nine keepers. Uh, uh, yes, yeah, it's, it's better. Mike can't make up his mind whether this fish will help or not. Now he thinks it might. His tenth keeper of the day. Again, he'll gain a few ounces, but man, if he really wants to move up, he's got to find a real quality fish. That'll definitely call. Yeah, we kind of seem to have a shortage of kicker fish here today, Charlie. Many of the pros are having a tough time landing big kickers today, but we know the quality fish are out there. We've seen them come across the scales all week, but out of the thousands of fish we saw at the weigh-in, only one had what it takes to earn the title of Snickers Big Bass. Earlier today, we saw Art Ferguson bring in that huge big five pounder, but he also brought in the biggest bass of the entire tournament. On day two, he weighed in this six pound, five ounce chunk. He takes home $2,000 from Snickers. Sean Hernke is wrapping up a very good day on the water. Just a few minutes ago, he landed his ninth keeper. A top qualifier from round one is having a real day today. He's already got two fish over three pounds in the live well. A couple over two and a half, and is going to be able to call up a few more ounces with this good solid keeper here. What a day he's having. Yeah, that one might. We got about five minutes left on the end of day one, and if the day went okay, I wouldn't exactly say it's uh, perfect by any stretch, but I think it's the first day is what you want to do is just put yourself in that position. And I think, uh, you know, these last few minutes of the day, by catching a few more, is that. Uh, um, one more good one has actually put me in that position. He's in great shape going to the final day tomorrow. Today's played out pretty much the way we thought it might. They started out early in the morning catching bass that were feeding on spawning shad, and then when the sun came up, bed fishing, sight fishing ruled the day, looking at fish they were catching, trying to find the good quality fish to separate themselves from the rest of the pack. It's been a great day. Legendary Ranger Boats founder Forrest L. Wood keeps us up to date on the latest news from his hometown of Flippin, Arkansas, in this edition of FLW Fish Tales, presented by Evan Rude. Flippin got them a speed cop several years ago, and wasn't much traffic through town, but they thought they ought to have a policeman in town anyway. They hired a man named Gibber, and they bought him a motorcycle, and he waited around a few days, and finally a car came through town, and he jumped on his motorcycle and chased the car down. Turned his siren on, the lights and so forth, and the man stopped. Gibber got off his motorcycle and walked up the side of the car and said, Where are you from, boy? And the man said, Chicago. Gibber said, Don't try to fool me. I saw them Illinois tags on that car. <laughs> oh, there's one. All right. Come in here, buddy. All right, nice. Black bass there. Adios, buddy. <laughs> Forrest keeping us laughing. All the fish caught today are going to be released as well, but first, they're making a trip to the scales. We'll follow the Chevy trucks to the weigh-in when the National Guard Open continues right here on FSN. <sighs> finesse fishermen are cheaters. What do you mean, Skeet? It's not finesse fishing if they're fishing Berkeley Gulp. It's cheating. Oh, that's a serious charge. Come on, Larry. Gulp is all natural. It spreads scent 400 times faster than plastic baits. It's like a blood trail in the water. Larry? Uh, my brain's the size of a oh, pea. Geez. Berkeley technology. It's just not fair. If the 
community calls on you. The National Guard's there. We put ourselves right into the heart of the storm. Hurricanes. Terrorism. Search and rescue. Wherever we're needed, we're there. That's what the National Guard is all about. I use the skills that I learned in the Guard every day. The National Guard is paying for my college and books. Everything is well covered. We became a team at Ground Zero. Bosnia. Afghanistan. And Iraq. This is your brother, this is your sister. You gotta look out for each other. I would do it again. And I would do the mission. That's my duty. That's my responsibility. I'm proud to be in the National Guard. Visit 1-800-GO-GUARD.COM. Wow, they are really hitting today. I'm twitching a six-inch worm through the stumps. How about you? Same. Pumpkin seed or chartreuse? Chartreuse. That's a funny word. I wonder where they got that from. France. France. Hmm. You seem kind of quiet. You want to talk about it? A woman will say 21 million words before an Evan Rude tech needs maintenance. Nope. A man will say 7 million. Only Evan Rude tech goes three years without dealer scheduled maintenance. Visit EvanRude.com for details on our first cast of spring sales event. Wherever you play, however you play, it's all for the love of the game. We are tigers! We are tigers! So you work hard and eat right with Kellogg's Frosted Flakes, the great tasting part of a nutritious breakfast. We are tigers! Mighty, mighty tigers! And you never stop earning your stripes. They're great! Want to win like a pro? Play FLW Fantasy Fishing and win your share of $7.3 million in cash and over 4,000 other great prizes, including a guaranteed $1 million grand prize. And it's free to play. Choose and track your top 10 pro team for each FLW Tour event. Join Players Advantage to access exclusive angler information, expert picks, live weigh-ins, and more. Make fantasy sports history. Log on to fantasyfishing.com and take on your share of $7.3 million. You're looking down on the Charlotte Convention Center where fans have been gathering all day long. And now they're ready to see some big bass. Charlie Evans is on stage and the weigh-in is underway. First up is Bud Pruitt. He didn't have any problems today finding a limit, but he wasn't able to put the big ones in his sack. He weighs in eight pounds, nine ounces for the day. Snickers pro Greg Pugh is having a great season with back-to-back -back top tens. And despite losing what could have been a nice kicker before it got into the boat, he weighs in a 10 pound, 13 ounce limit. Rookie Scott Canterbury held the lead on day one. Can he get it back today? Five bass limit, five fish in the bag here, total weight, 11 pounds, six ounces, our new leader, Scott Canterbury. And the dream continues for Scott Canterbury and for his family. Castrol Pro Mike Sermon has a long career behind him on the Walmart FLW Tour, but today all of his experience, it's not enough to top the rookie, Scott Canterbury. Art Ferguson already won the Snickers Big Bass Award in this event, but it's not going to help him today. He's unable to take the lead. He'll have some catching up to do tomorrow. Berkeley Pro Glenn Brown landed a nice fish this morning. But that was the high point of his entire day. His limit today doesn't even reach the 10-pound mark. VP Pro Jim Moyna is hungry for his first Walmart FLW Tour win in a decade. Can he take the lead from Scott Canterbury? Five fish in the weed here. 12 pounds, 11 ounces, our new leader, Jim Moyna. Jim Moyna raises the bar by well over a pound and takes the lead. Only two anglers left. National Guard Pro Brent Ayler is one of the hottest young sticks in the sport. But like so many others, he couldn't find a kicker today. Eight pounds, six ounces for Brent Ayler. Opening round leader Sean Hunky carries the National Guard leader bag. Will he hang on to it? He does have a five bass limit. Good, solid fish. Jim Mono, watch carefully. This will be tight. John Hernke has five fish here, and we have a total of 13 pounds, five ounces into the lead again. Boy, Sean Hernke opens up a nice lead on the rest of the field, and the other nine really have their work cut out for them tomorrow. Jim Moyne is going to be playing catch up, and so will Scott Canterbury. But for Sean Hernke, it's his tournament to lose. 
and you take a look at this, you can see who found kicker fish and who didn't. This is an event that could be decided on one cast, and one big Lake Norman bass could turn these standings upside down. At the co-angler weigh-in, rookie Deidre Davison brings in a limit, one of only three co-anglers to do so. She's all smiles after an incredible tournament here. National Guard Junior World Champion Shane LeHue had a great catch earlier today, but he wasn't able to fill out a limit. He finishes with three fish weighing four pounds, 13 ounces. David Hudson caught a limit, and it's enough to move him to the front of the pack. After 88 FLW tournaments, he's on the edge of his first victory. But he has to watch while the final co-angler, opening round leader Dirk Davenport, weighs in. That's, That's it. it. That's, That's it. it. One, one fish in the back that weighs at one pound, 11 ounces. David Hudson is our champion. After 12 years as a Walmart FLW Tour co-angler and 15 previous top 10 finishes, David Hudson finally has a trophy to call his own. And a great paycheck on top of that. What an exciting day for him and his family. Here's how the rest of the co-angler field finished up. Deidre Davidson takes fourth place. Shane LeHue in eighth. A great effort by all these competitors. While the co-anglers can relax, the pros have one more day to fish. Every ounce counts on this lake, and it's going to be a fight right down to the finish. The National Guard Open continues next. Now get 0% APR financing for 60 months on any 2008 Chevy Cobalt. FLW Outdoors from the National Guard Open is brought to you by National Guard, you can. PTSI, experience the lure of the open road, drive for PTSI. Minn Kota, anywhere, anytime. U.S. Bank. Home of the five-star service guarantee. Yamaha, reliability starts here. And Ranger Boats, we're celebrating 40 years of still building legends one at a time. Lake Norman isn't giving anything away this week, and that means the 10 remaining pros all have to swing for the fences on day four. One mistake and the tournament could be lost. Rookie Scott Canterbury knows the pressure all too well. Two top tens in a row, a trial by fire, and the chance to be a champion. I do want to win one. I want to win it bad. Uh, I never dreamed that it would come down to this this year, but you know, here I am, so I got the opportunities. I'd like to capitalize on one and put it away. It's been a long road here for Jim Moyna. 10 years since he took home his last title. Now he's in second place. One more day, he has to give it all he's got. When I got into the sport, uh, I thought I could win every tournament. <laughs> but as the years go by, without winning, without winning, without winning, but you know, hope along the way. So after a while, you're like, man, am I ever gonna win? But I think uh, absolutely I can win this. He's got his work cut out for him, and so does the rest of the field. They're all chasing one man, Sean Hernke. He's never won a tour title. It's in his hands now, but he'll have to fight to keep it. He's tackling the tricky conditions with a lot of skill. He found quality fish in a pocket of spawning shad, but there's no guarantee that they're gonna be there tomorrow. His lead is fragile, but his sights are set on the trophy. I've won every other level in FLW, but the tour level would be uh, icing on the cake, so we'll, uh, we'll see how it goes. Just screw my head on straight and buckle down. After three days of tough competition on the water and very little sleep off it, it's amazing these pros have anything left. But they've got to push beyond their limits if they hope to take the National Guard Open title. 
Just like the racers at the NASCAR track, these athletes are going full speed ahead. The big bass are out there waiting, and the finish line is just one short day away. It's the last chance for one angler to prove he's got what it takes to raise himself above the rest of the field and to claim the title of champion. Join us next time for the conclusion of the National Guard Open here on Lake Norman. And log on to FLWoutdoors.com for complete tournament coverage and live webcasts. For more fishing action, call 866-567-1960 to subscribe to FLW Outdoors Magazine. For Charlie Evans, I'm Jason Harper. We'll see you next week here on FLW Outdoors. The march is on. Today, the National Guard joins big time bass fishing to crown a new champion. For one pro, at last, a chance to taste his first tour victory. I've made cuts on the tour and I've had opportunities, just hasn't closed the deal. But an accomplished challenger is just behind. I kind of want to win. A new leader, Jimona. 10 warriors, Ooh. one title. Yeah. $200,000 on the line. <gasps> They're locked and loaded, and the battle starts now. Yes! That's what I'm talking about. Yes! Charlotte, North Carolina, a legendary town in the history of motorsports. This week, a new legend is being written. The best bass anglers in the world have gathered here for head-to-head -head competition. After a grueling three days, just 10 remain. Today, one man will win one of the most coveted titles in professional bass fishing. From Lake Norman, North Carolina, it's the third stop on the Walmart FLW Tour. This is the 2008 National Guard Open. Hi everyone, I'm Jason Harper along with Charlie Evans. And Charlie, all week long, the anglers have been bringing in lots of fish here from Lake Norman. Matter of fact, yesterday, nine out of our top 10 pros brought in a limit. But there's one guy who's been able to add that all important kicker fish. It's our day three leader, Sean Hernke. Jason, Sean's got two patterns he's working. His early morning pattern, where he's catching his big fish, bass that are feeding on spawning shad. That doesn't last long. Then he goes to sight fishing for bedding bass to fill out his limit. But it's that early morning bite that's key. That's when the kicker fish are coming. Well, Charlie, trying to catch those kicker fish could prove to be a difficult task here today. Heavy rains came through the night. That seriously has changed the conditions here on Lake Norman. You're exactly right. It muddied up a lot of the water, making those spawning bass harder to see. Also, we've got cloud cover, wind, temperatures dropped about 20 degrees, changing conditions. Our anglers will have to adjust. Those got to adjust the best. They'll come out on top and win up to $200,000 here at the National Guard Open. Sean Hernke is in the top spot today, but when you look at the standings, his lead isn't safe by much. BP Pro Jim Moyna right behind him, less than a pound. Most of the field are all bunched up within three pounds of Sean Hernke. And a beautiful start to the morning. Sun's coming up, a lot of excitement in the air. One, two, three. Hoorah! The National Guard Pro Brent Ayler receiving some encouragement from his teammates. Rookie Scott Canterbury, these are some of the hottest young names in the sport. Then there's veteran BP Pro Jim Moyna. He earned his last title 10 years ago. It's been a long time, so I believe this has got to be my day right here. And I, I got to, I can't make it happen. I can't will it upon the fish. All I can do is make sure I'm ready, fish smart, and hopefully I get them in the boat. This contest could come down to just ounces. There are plenty of two-pounders out there. Nine out of the top ten came in with limits yesterday in cold, but the key could be that early morning shad spawn bite. It's so critical to try to get a good kicker fish right there, and that's going to be the difference in this tournament. The man that can find two or three of those good quality three to four-pounders will be the National Guard Open champion. Located in the heart of the Tar Heel State, Lake Norman is just outside North Carolina's largest city, Charlotte. The lake covers over 50 square miles with over 500 miles of shoreline. Anglers take off from Blythe Landing at the south end of the lake. Here's Art Ferguson in the Chevy boat. He's starting today in fourth place. He got off to a great start on day three, caught an early limit, and his limit fish was his beautiful four-pounder. That's the kind of bass it'll take to win this tournament. 
Got one hooked up here. I'm feel real big. That's one of those good solid two pounders. We'll see lots of those today, but that there will win go. this tournament. That's a good little start. He can put five of those in the boat, but he's got a call up. Pound and three quarter spot. Charlie, you know Art won the Snickers Big Bass Award on day two, so we know he can find big fish. Over now to our day three leader, Sean Hernke. He's won in every level of FLW Outdoors competition, except here on the Walmart FLW Tour. He's ready to change that, as we see in today's Duracell Angler Spotlight. He's looking for his first FLW Tour win. Your current leader, Sean Hernke. I have not won an FLW Tour event yet. I've won Strand Series, I've won the FLW Series, so a win would be nice. There he is. The money is one thing, but for me, it's just fishing well. I've just been real fortunate this week, and, and things have really worked out, and I've capitalized on every bite. Well, the good news is, it wasn't a perfect day, but it was a good enough day to give me a reason to wake up tomorrow morning. And that's what it's all about, you know, putting yourself in the position. Doesn't mean you're gonna win, but it gives yourself an opportunity to. I did the best that I could do. I'm, you know, I, I executed pretty much, I would say, 95% today. The rest is up to how everybody else did, and I'm sure they did well. They always do. If you look at Moyne over there, I think he's really got him because he's got that little smile that he always has when he thinks he's caught him. 12 pounds, 11 ounces, our new leader, Jim Onna. Let me close. It's time for the moment of truth now, isn't it? He started the day in the number one spot. He does have a five bass limit. 13 pounds, five ounces into the lead again. It's nobody's game yet, so one more good day is what it's gonna take. These guys don't give up without a fight. I'm gonna fish. Whatever my instinct tells me to do today, that's what I'm gonna do. That's when I fish my best, so. If it rains and we can't sight fish, then we won't sight fish. We'll just fish. I don't do any good when I force it, so. To me, this is just another day of practice. And when I get to about 13 pounds, then I'll get excited because that means I'll at least have a chance. 13 pounds would be a great springer for him today. There's one or two. Got one hooked up here. Quick start again today. Small fish, though. Small, but he'll keep. About a pound and a half, but it's a start. And so the final day of the 2008 National Guard Open is underway. Plenty of action here on Lake Norman. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be back right after this. I fish. I fish. I fish FLW. Yamaha raises the bar again with the all new high performance VMAX Series 2. First, we built in features that amped up Yamaha's legendary VMAX reliability. Then, we added another year to the limited warranty, giving you an impressive three years of coverage. VMAX Series 2, a powerful lineup you can trust to deliver durability fuel economy and awesome HPDI performance. If the community calls on you, the National Guard's there. We put ourselves right into the heart of the storm. Hurricanes. Terrorism. Search and rescue. Wherever we're needed, we're there. That's what the National Guard is all about. I use the skills that I learn in the Guard every day. The National Guard is paying for my college and books. Everything is well covered. We became a team at Ground Zero. Bosnia. Afghanistan. Iraq. This is your brother, this is your sister. You gotta look out for each other. I would do it again. And I would do the mission. That's my duty. That's my responsibility. I'm proud to be in the National Guard. Visit 1-800-GoGuard.com. We know when real fishermen have to rise and shine. That's why so many of our stations are open early. Because you've got to get to where the walleye are running. The bucket mouths are biting. Or you can run and gun and get to where the water's boiling so you can let her fly and reel in the big ones. 
BP is proud to be the official fuel of FLW Outdoors. Have fun out there. Want to win like a pro? Play FLW Fantasy Fishing and win your share of $7.3 million in cash and over 4,000 other great prizes. Including a guaranteed $1 million grand prize. And it's free to play. Choose and track your top 10 pro team for each FLW Tour event. Join Players Advantage to access exclusive angler information, expert picks, live weigh-ins, and more. Make fantasy sports history. Log on to FantasyFishing.com and take home your share of $7.3 million. FLW Outdoors from the National Guard Open is brought to you by Walmart. Save money, live better. Evan Root E-Tech. Visit EvanRoot.com now for details on the first Cast of Spring sales event. Duracell, trusted everywhere. National Guard, you can. Yamaha, reliability starts here. And Ranger Boats, we're celebrating 40 years of still building legends one at a time. Snickers pro Greg Pugh is riding really high on back-to-back -to -back top 10 finishes and clinching a victory here would just be icing on the cake. When you look at last year, the best year of his career so far, this year's turning out to be pretty good. Charlie, with a win here, it could be even better. He starts the day in fifth place. Oh, there he is. Oh, God, that was a big one. Got one hooked up here, but that's not a big one. Start of the day, only two and a half pounds out of the lead. That'll help. You were saying that big and it would come up. <laughs> Doing this and just came from somewhere. The wrong one bit for him, Jason. There's a big one come up behind it. Like, that could be the difference between winning and losing when the little fish gets it instead of the big one. Well, pretty little long, long spot there. About a pound and a quarter. But the one was with it was one we really wanted. We'll take that one, but. So that's a third keeper for Greg Pugh. And like Greg, Scott Canterbury is also on his second top 10 in a row, and he's just a rookie. He had a great tournament down at Lewis Smith Lake, finished in second place and won $50,000, his largest payday so far in his career. And the way he's fishing, he's going to come up with a win sooner or later. He's already got one in the boat. You got it that time. Here comes number two. Hold up, baby. In the net. Thank you, Jesus. Good fish. Praise you, amen. About a two pounder there, that'll help, but again, he needs some good kickers to win this event. He's followed that swim bait and that little crosstail shad catches every one of them. He's got the confidence. BP Pro Jim Moyna has a Walmart FLW Tour title already, but that was 10 years ago. He says he's overdue for another. When it comes to the FLW Tour, I have one victory. It happened to be back in 1997, the second year of the FLW Tour. Yes. It was on my home lake, Lake Minnetonka in Minnesota. But I, I don't really count it because it's so familiar. I've really just been dying to win away from home. I've got three second places, two on Pickwick, one on the Connecticut River. And I got third on Champlain. So I've had a few close ones, but uh, I've got it. I want to win. Here we go. Started the day in second place, less than a pound out of the lead. He's already got four in the live wheel. Oh, here comes one. Got him. Hooked up to number five, his limit fish. This could be my biggest one. It's about a two pounder. Good, solid fish. He'll have a limit now, but again, if he wants to win his first tour event in 10 years, he's going to have to find some kicker fish. First, he's got to get this one in the boat, though. Got it. There we go. Starting out today with a topwater bait, a Salmo Skinner that looks just like a shad, and it's caught him a limit early. Whew, that's fun. There's my biggest one. Maybe two pounder. Five fish. I've hit the right dots or something, man. Every, bought every dock in this stretch and popping a fish. And that put Jim in the lead for now, but he's going to need some bigger fish to stay there. The day is just getting started. National Guard Pro Brent Ayler is having a great morning as he hunts for his first regular season title. We'll catch up with him after this.
Welcome back to the 2008 National Guard Open, where 10 pro anglers are fighting for a $200,000 first prize. Glenn Brown is one of three pros making his second top 10 finish in a row. Every time that thing comes in there, he runs at it. Got one he's working on on the bed there, a sight fish. There we go. Got him hooked up here. His first keeper of the day, finally. Some of our other pros already have a limit and he's getting a slow start today. Maybe this will get him started. Finally, a little better quality there. Two, two and a quarter pound. He finished ninth at Lewis Smith Lake. He'd like to have a better finish here. Help me, it's gunked. Making me work this morning. You know, Charlie, really the situation hasn't changed a whole lot here on Lake Norman. All of our anglers still catching lots of fish, but not really that quality that they're looking for. No big kicker fish caught in the shad spawn this morning, which has been bringing our big fish. So our anglers now will just try to catch a bunch of fish, upgrade, call out a few ounces at a time, trying to gain as much weight as they can, looking for those good, solid two and a half, three pound fish to fill out their limit. Let's go back out to the water right now to Sean Hernke. You can see that he's getting ready to tie on a new lure here. It's because he broke off a nice fish just a few minutes ago, Charlie. He started the day in the lead. He's got four keepers in the boat. None of them, though, over a pound and a half. She just ate it. Oh, my gosh. And people want to know how you play this game. You can't get a bit excited about that. Got a good fish on the bed here. Oh, he just broke off. And broke it off. Son of a gun. He knows how important catching that fish ah. is to winning this tournament. Retired now, back at work on the same fish. There it is, right there. Got it hooked up. Amazing. Get in the boat. Yeah. Got it. Oh. <laughs> you know, we've been talking about the all-important kicker fish. You have to have it to win this tournament. That's why we play the game. <laughs> <laughs> Patience paid off here. Missed it. Made a mistake. There it is, right there. Broke it off, but then finally hooked it up and got it in the boat. He's a happy camper. Yes. <laughs> and a four-plus pounder for Sean Hernke. That's his limit fish right there. Ooh. <laughs> Sean, driving it home, you know, he knows that he's put himself in position mm. to possibly win this thing. That helped. It sure did. He could be following in the footsteps of fishing legend and Chevy pro Larry Nixon. His long-awaited victory here last year is today's Castrol flashback. Last year, you know, when I won this tournament, that was just a very exciting tournament. Yeah. It uh, ended a pretty good drought. Sometimes you wonder if you're going to win another one, and that made it especially sweet. Yay! Whoopee! This is 32 years that I've been doing it. I, I really don't want to ever quit. It's been a while, but it's still sweet. The fishing's exciting to me. It always has been, and it always will be. I'll never change that part of it. Holy camoly, what a bass. That's just the most important thing to me, is have a fun day. Yippee! Last year, the, the fourth day, I caught my last good fish. I knew I had over 14 pounds, and that would give me 26. Yes! And I knew somebody was going to have to really catch a giant string to beat me in. You know, they did. Jay Ellis caught a giant spring and scared me pretty good. A new leader, Jay Ellis. I've always been pretty emotional over Seven a big Nelson. win. Larry Nixon is our champion. You know, happy moments, they make me cry. They don't make me yell and scream, they make me happy. And when it's been a long time since you've won a tournament, and I know everybody's so happy for me, that's why I get happy. <laughs> Larry Nixon, a true icon in the sport of bass fishing. National Guard Pro Brent Ayler knows about that kind of happiness. He won the Forestwood Cup back in 2006, but he hasn't tasted victory since then. Had a great day so far. He's caught eight keepers. Got a good solid limit in the boat. Here comes number nine, heading toward the boat. Got a way to come back. Stay on. Started the day in ninth place. That's what I need. Five pounds out of the lead. Good fish here. Oh, yes. There we go. Got it. Oh, man, I needed a good one like that. Jeez. Oh, that one's over three pounds. That'll help. Wow, did I need that one. Oh, and the hook just came right out. <laughs> good break for Brent. Way to go, Brent. There we go. A little better. Our National Guard Pro on the move. Hi, I'm Brent Ayler. Stick around for more action at the National Guard Open at Lake Norman. 
Every year, the FLW pros spend thousands of hours discovering breakthrough methods for locating and catching more and bigger bass in their quest for millions of dollars in prizes. Now you can put that big money fish catching information to work for you. Call 1-866-567-1960 now for a free copy of FLW Outdoors, the magazine that reveals the secrets of America's top professional anglers. With your free issue, you'll also receive an invoice for a full year of FLW Outdoors. That's eight big issues for only $11.88, only 99 cents a month. Hook this great offer, and you'll also receive this free DVD of incredible FLW tournament action plus exclusive tips from the pros. We'll even throw in a free FLW decal. If you decide not to subscribe, simply return the invoice marked canceled. Either way, the free issue is yours to keep. Call 1-866-567-1960 now to get your free issue and start catching fish like this. Now get 0% APR for 60 months on most Silverado half tons. Precision built performance, responsive engineering, and revolutionary design. Welcome to the accelerated look, feel, and all out muscle of the new Ranger Z520 Comanche. Powered by the new 250 HO Evinrude e Tech, the only outboard with no dealer scheduled maintenance for three years, this tournament driven powerhouse is just one more reminder that real leadership isn't just tested by time, it's clocked by it. Evinrude e Tech, spend more time on the water. This isn't the only event FLW Outdoors hosted at Lake Norman this week. A very special tournament put the spotlight on some of the stars of the next generation. While the pros were battling it out at the National Guard Open on Lake Norman, another competition was underway in the family fun zone. The National Guard Ultimate Warrior Challenge pitted teams of two high school students against one another in four skill and endurance competitions. A ropes course, climbing wall, shooting range, and balance test. In the end, Tyler Rice and Ryan Champion of Team Rice Krispies came out on top, making themselves and the National Guard proud. Back out now to Scott Canterbury. With his two top tens in the last two events, he's really proving that he has the heart of a champion. Fish hot. Got one hooked up on the bed. That one if it's the same one. He's already got five in the live well he can call with this one. What a roller coaster ride this has been for Scott and his wife. A couple weeks ago, he made it in the top 10 at Lewis Smith Lake the same week his wife was diagnosed with cancer. Fish on, thank you, Jesus. Here he's in the top 10 again. His wife is scheduled for surgery tomorrow. And her prognosis, we understand, is very good. That one's probably close to two, Jimmy. That will help. Caught on drop shot rig with that jack tail cross tail shed. Down on the throat. He's using six pound Berkeley Trilene 100% fluorocarbon lines. That's a good one. Lord, thank you. <laughs> it's hard not to root for him, Charlie. Over to Jim Moyna, who's looking for his kicker fish. He's got a limit in the boat, looking to upgrade. There he is, good one too. Got one hooked up here that could help. Still using that Salmo Skinner, a topwater bait that he switches on top. That's what I need. And get four more like this now. Very good sign. About three pounds there. He'll definitely call with that and move up in the standings. Well, the signs may be looking good for Jim Moyna, but they're not looking so good for Berkeley Pro Glenn Brown. He's really having a tough morning. Only got three keepers so far. Blue 52. <laughs> he switched from a worm to a jig. I said wrong. Got one hooked up here. Four fish, good fish. In the net. Yes! Good, solid fish here. Three, three and a half pound fish. In the mouth. And hooked in the mouth, side fish. What fish you're looking at, you must have hooked inside the mouth. He shows the camera. Three and a half, maybe four. <laughs> That's the one I was looking for. That'll help. 
Charlie, we can't stress enough the importance of the kicker fish. The kickers could hold the key to victory. Glenn Brown just caught a nice one, but he's still one shy of a limit. Brent Ayler got a big boost with this three pounder. And day three leader Sean Hernke showed that he isn't fishing for second place. Back with more after this. Discover black silk from Folgers. With bold, rich flavor that's exceptionally smooth. Wake up to black silk. I changed my oil. Why worry about engine sludge? You can't see sludge coming, but it can rob gas mileage and hold your car back. Yeah, right. Castrol GTX has a powerful formula to stop sludge in its tracks. Give me a burger, fries. GTX's unique dispersants neutralize sludge for superior protection among leading 5W and 10W 30s. And some extra napkins. Castrol GTX. It's more than just oil. It's liquid engineering. They're up there, you know. I've been to the ship. I've seen things. I've smelled things. Look, I'm trying to forge here. They fool you with the smell. They got me, but I escaped. Yeah, from the loony bin. The scent was like a blood trail, but it's deception. Get away from me. Beware, my friend. Trust no one. Trust no one. Everywhere we go. People wanna know. Wherever you play, however you play, it's all for the love of the game. We are tigers. We are tigers. So you work hard and eat right with Kellogg's Frosted Flakes, the great tasting part of a nutritious breakfast. We are tigers. Body, body, tiger. And you never stop earning your stripes. They're great. See the difference. Smell the difference. Taste the difference. Wake up with Folgers and you'll wake up with the richest, most aromatic mountain grown beans for a rich, smooth taste that will awaken your senses. The kicker fish are starting to bite, and this competition may hang in the balance. One big keeper could change the whole leaderboard. Castro Pro Mike Sherman is on the hunt for a big fish to fill out his limit, and it may be the one that got away. Mike Sherman's been using a jig, having a lot of bites, but missing a lot of fish. After you miss 88 fish in a row, you cut your line like that and you throw that one away. That was bad luck. <laughs> I don't blame him at all. Try something new. He's got four in the boat. He needs number five. Got one hooked up here. Oh, that's a decent fish. No, it's not, but it's a keeper. That'll put five in the boat if he can get him in. He'll take his time with this fish. The limit will make him feel a lot better. Into the boat, number five. That will give him a limit, but he needs to upgrade from here. But Charlie limit's nice, but a lot of these other anglers have the kicker fish that he doesn't have. Five. Now he's ready for the big one. <laughs> Maybe not that big. The pros are pulling out all the stops today to try and get a bite out of the post-spawn bass. But there's one trick that they may not have tried. Walmart FLW Tour Pro Aaron Hastings shows us how it's done in this edition of Fishing 101, presented by Lorance. Here at Lake Norman this week, finesse techniques have really dominated the top 10. I'm going to show you a new finesse technique called a flick shake that most anglers haven't heard about. I use a 6 foot 10 inch Berkley Elite Tech rod, has a little bit of tip to it plus some backbone, 6 pound 100% trialene fluorocarbon. Then I use a very small little jig head. This is a 16th ounce jig head, it's got a little fiber weed guard on it. And I use a 5 inch Berkley Wacky Curl. You rig the jig head directly through the center of the Wacky Curler, so your end result looks like this. This is really easy to do. All you do is make a long cast and you shake the bait on a semi-slack line all the way to the bottom. This imitates a quivering night crawler or maybe a dying shad falling to the bottom. So you get a feeding response from the fish. If you don't get a bite, all you do is reel it in, you make another long cast, shake it all the way to the bottom. Wait for the bite, simple set. 
The next time you're at your favorite body water and fishing gets a little tough, you want to give the flick shake a try. It'll definitely put more bass in your boat. Great stuff. Want more fishing secrets from Aaron Hastings and other FLW pros? Log on to FLWoutdoors.com to watch all of our Fishing 101 lessons. For more tips, call 866-567-1960 to subscribe to FLW Outdoors magazine. Sean Hernke is really making the most of the tough conditions here, working hard to find the big bass and getting them into the boat. Let's have another look at that big fish he caught earlier, one he really struggled with. He missed it, he broke it off, but he stuck with it and finally, finally got in the boat. The biggest fish we've seen so far today, this kind of fish again can make the difference in this tournament. <laughs> Sean traveled all the way up to the north end of the lake where he caught that huge four-pounder. Now he's starting to work his way down to the south part of the lake, once again fishing around some docks. Still looking for fish, trying to find a real quality fish. He knows one more big fish could sew this thing up. And this could be it. That's her. Way back under that dock. Get out of there. Using a weightless wacky worm, fall real slow. Oh, good fish. That could do it for Sean. Good solid two, two and a half, three pound fish. That'll really help with that one four pounder he caught. <laughs> you know, Sean probably thinks that he's closed the door on this competition, but it wasn't that long ago where it looked like he wasn't even gonna get this fish, Charlie. I went back around the other side. And she came right back up the one I did. That was the one I lost. And she came right back up there and I flipped it in there. And she ran straight off as soon as it hit the water. And I thought, she's done for, because I just hooked her. She had already ate it. And she was underneath the dock. Even with the light yeah. line, he was able to get her out from under that dock and into the boat on his second try four. That fish really helped. Hi, I'm Sean Hernsey, and don't go away. We're really catching them here at Lake Norman in North Carolina. Wow, they are really hitting today. I'm twitching a six inch worm through the stumps. How about you? Same. Pumpkin seed or chartreuse? Chartreuse. That's a funny word. I wonder where they got that from. France. France, hmm. You seem kind of quiet. You want to talk about it? A woman will say 21 million words before an Evan Rude Etec needs maintenance. Nope. A man will say seven million. Only Evan Rude Etec goes three years without dealer scheduled maintenance. Visit evanrude.com for details on our first cast of spring sales event. Wherever you're going, the new Iway 500C portable turn-by-turn -turn GPS from Lawrence Automotive is your best way to go. With a 20-gig internal hard drive, the Iway 500C features built-in high-detail mapping of the entire U.S. and virtually all of Canada. Plus, it's an MP3 music player, brilliant 256 color touchscreen, voice and visual directions, waterproof case, and a full complement of accessories. Next trip, take the affordable Iway 500C with you every turn of the way. We know when real fishermen have to rise and shine. That's why so many of our stations are open early. Because you've got to get to where the walleye are running. The bucket mouths are biting. Or you can run and gun and get to where the water's boiling so you can let her fly and reel in the big ones. BP is proud to be the official fuel of FLW Outdoors. Have fun out there. The $1.5 million National Guard Open has one of the biggest payouts in bass fishing, but the anglers here at Lake Norman are working for every penny. Bryn Ayler has really been on the fish today. He's landed nine keepers already, but it hasn't been easy for him. And now he's found one fish he just can't seem to hook, Charlie. In the last five minutes, he's missed this one fish three times. There's number one. Got it. He's got one he can see. Got it. He missed him again, no but the way. fish is still there. Been a lot of time he needs to get this fish. Oh my goodness. And there's wow. the third time. Bryn Haler showing a lot of determination. I cannot believe I missed him three times. I cannot believe that. He can still see the fish. Go back and get it. Go back and get it. He's talking to the fish. <laughs> Got him hooked up now. Stay on. Stay on. Oh, yeah. It's a giant one. He needs his fish. Stay on. 
This fish could make a huge difference. Got it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that <works>. <laughs> <laughs> That's almost three pounds. Good, solid fish. He worked hard for that one. Ooh. Brent stayed after this fish. He spotted it. I think he got a little nervous when he saw the size of it. Maybe jerked too quick the first three times, then finally slowed down and let him eat it and got him. Did you see how far I followed that fish? He was 100 yards away and I followed him the whole time. Charlie, this is how pros separate themselves from the other anglers, and this is how they go on to win tournaments. Brent demonstrated a lot of patience in fishing for this cruising bass and made the perfect cast at just the right time. Wow. The National Guard's commitment to fishing is evident everywhere you look on the Walmart FLW Tour. The Guard is also committed to many positive ideals, including helping troubled teenagers through the National Guard Youth Challenge Academy. We take kids that are 16 to 18 years old, high school dropouts, and we bring them into our highly structured military style program and try to teach them all the things it takes to get them back into being a productive citizen in our society. The Youth Challenge Academy is like a school for troubled teens. If they're not doing good in school or they're in trouble with the law, they try to get their GED and they learn discipline and respect. They get in shape. A lot of kids are losing weight from all the running and everything we do in the morning. And graduate in six months. When our cadets come in the door, they are afraid of not being successful or they wouldn't be here. They've come to challenge to make a better life for themselves. I learned how to control my anger more. I learned self-discipline. I passed one of my GED tests already. No, we can't really tell that we've changed, but everybody else can. If I didn't get accepted, I don't know what I, what I would have done. I think it's changed my life. It's going to change my future, too. And some great work being done through the National Guard. Bud Pruitt in the Duracell boat has been on the fish, but he's been having trouble finding a kicker. He's got 11 keepers so far today, but they're all small fish, the one to two pound range. He's finally hooked up to a kicker here. Let's see if he can get in the boat. Yeah! Good fish, Woo! about three pounds. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. He needs two or three more like that. That's what I'm talking about, brother. Patience, patience, patience. I've been patient all day for this fish. <laughs> I think that's the word for the day. Patience, patience, patience. Speaking of patience, Jim Moyne has been waiting a decade for a title. He began the day in second place, so close to victory he could taste it. But he needs to find a big bass soon to catch up with Sean Hernke. Hi, I'm Jim Moyna. Stick around for some more fantastic fishing. Yamaha raises the bar again with the all-new high-performance VMAX Series 2. First, we built in features that amped up Yamaha's legendary VMAX reliability. Then we added another year to the limited warranty, giving you an impressive three years of coverage. VMAX Series 2, a powerful lineup you can trust to deliver durability, fuel economy, and awesome HPDI performance. Visit shopflw.com for the latest and official FLW Outdoors merchandise, sweatshirts, t-shirts, hats, and more. There's something for everyone. FLW and TBF members receive a discount on every purchase. Visit shopflw.com to place your order today. We're in the final minutes of fishing here at the 2008 National Guard Open, and every angler is hoping their last cast will bring them big bass. Greg Pugh began the day just two and a half pounds out of the lead. He got off to a slow start, but was able to put a limit of keepers in the boat, and then just a few minutes ago landed these two quality fish, able to cull with those. Got one hooked up here. This is a good fish. This will help. Oh, yeah. Get in the net. It jumped oh, all the way over the net. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Finally got it in the net. <sighs> that one there, about two and a half pounds. He'll be able to cull with that one. That will move him up the leaderboard. He's side fishing with a 316 ounce PJ's jig head teamed with a Berkeley Power Shaky Worm. A deadly combination for side fish. 
You know, Greg finished eighth here last year. Looks like he's going to do a lot better than that this year. But I don't think these fish are big enough to make a run at Sean Hernke. You know, Sean already has that nice four-pound kicker in his live well, and that seems to be the one thing keeping him ahead of the field. One more quality fish could lock it up for him. Oh, yeah. He thinks he's got a good one hooked up here. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Please, 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 no. Taking his time. Light line. Moving the boat back so the fish will stay away from those pilings. Yeah! Another four pound Whoa. fish. Wow. Look at yeah. that. <laughs> Five minutes. Five minutes left to fish. They say it's never it over to us over, but this could be over. This one oh, fish yeah. right here may have very well locked it up for Sean Hernke. Two big fish in a five fish limit. His other three are quality fish. What a day he's had. <laughs> what a way to end the tournament, the last cast of the day. It's done. That's it. We're going in. That's all we're doing for today. I'm going to call out, and we're going in. <laughs> you think he's feeling confident, Charlie? Absolutely. It's time for all of our pros to head for the check-in. Boy, Lake Norman has really been on this week. We've caught a ton of fish. This lake is full of fish. But finding the quality fish, the kicker fish, is what makes the difference. Sean Hernke found two of them. Well, the pros who didn't make the top 10 cut are back at the Family Fun Zone, meeting fans and sharing some of their secrets, such as the nicknames the pros give each other. We hear some of the best in this edition of Ask the Angler, presented by Folgers. My fishing nickname is Newt Dog. My fishing nickname is The Kid. My fishing nickname is Clean Shoes. The Big Cheese. The Fishing Diva. Rainichi Fushai. That's what Shin calls me. My fishing nickname. Shin, shin, shin. My fishing nickname is The General. My fishing nickname is The General. Wait, that's Larry Nixon. I've been called a lot of things, but mostly just CP. They call me Sandra Rankin, fishing gal, the fishinator. Everybody calls me the Prince Blitz. My fishing nickname is B Height. I don't have a fishing nickname, but it should be Mr. Finesse. <laughs> well, the pros have all made it to check in, including Scott Canterbury. It was a good day. I was blessed to um, catch what I caught. I give it everything I had once again. And we just have to see where the chips lay. I mean, you know, it's time to go weigh them in now and see where we finish. The anglers check in, and then it's time to get the boats out of the water. It's the first time all week that these 10 pros have a chance to sit back and relax. It's time now for the Chevy truck and Ranger boat procession, which will carry them to the weigh-in. It's been a long day on the water, and the stakes are high. No one knows how the other anglers fared. All they can do is bring in their limits. Five, five, five. We rode along with Snickers Pro Greg Pugh on his way to the convention center. Folks, you talk about drama. $200,000 on the line. Do I have an opportunity to win? I think so. The show is about to begin. Stay tuned. And there's the Charlotte Convention Center where a huge crowd is waiting to see who takes the title. Charlie Evans is on stage and the weigh-in is underway. Chris Bumgardner is the only North Carolina pro in this top 10, but the local curse seems to have gotten him. He can't pass Sean Hernke's day three weight, and he is eliminated. Bud Pruitt brings in a small limit and racks up a two-day total of 18 pounds, four ounces. He raises the bar for the rest of the field. National Guard pro Brent Ayler stalked the fish that he wanted and didn't give up. He was able to fill his live well, but will he be able to take the lead? Got one more. He does, a five fish limit. Brent needed five pounds to take the lead. He's got five fish here that weigh in at 11 pounds, five ounces, moves in in the lead. A good day for Brent Ayler, but was it enough? This event's top guns are on deck. Jim Moyna, who wants to break his dry spell. Scott Canterbury, the hot young rookie. And day three leader, Sean Hernke, 
gunning for his first tour victory. You know, Bobby, you couldn't ask for a better way to make a living. You said it, brother. I mean, there's nothing like being your own boss. Mm -hmm. You know, traveling from state to state, there's just no better way to see America. Yeah, being a pro fisherman is a great life. Professional fishing? You've got to be kidding me. I'm talking about driving a big rig, man. What greater opportunity to see America and receive good pay? Fishing? Well, oh, this is just way too much work. You know, you may be right. A great career on the open road is waiting for you. Hook up with PTSI today. If the community calls on you, the National Guard's there. We put ourselves right into the heart of the storm. Hurricanes. Terrorism. Search and rescue. Wherever we're needed, we're there. That's what the National Guard is all about. I use the skills that I learn in the Guard every day. The National Guard is paying for my college and books. Everything is well covered. We became a team at Ground Zero. Bosnia. Afghanistan. Iraq. This is your brother, this is your sister. You gotta look out for each other. I would do it again. And I would do the mission. That's my duty. That's my responsibility. I'm proud to be in the National Guard. Visit 1-800-GoGuard.com. Wow, they are really hitting today. I'm twitching a six-inch worm through the stumps. How about you? Same. Pumpkin seed or chartreuse? Chartreuse. That's a funny word. I wonder where they got that from. France. France. Hmm. You seem kind of quiet. You want to talk about it? A woman will say 21 million words before an Evan Rude tech needs maintenance. Nope. A man will say 7 million. Only Evan Rude tech goes three years without dealer scheduled maintenance. Visit EvanRude.com for details on our first cast of spring sales event. I fish. I fish. I fish FLW. Want to win like a pro? Play FLW Fantasy Fishing and win your share of $7.3 million in cash and over 4,000 other great prizes, Yippee! including a guaranteed $1 million grand prize. And it's free to play. Choose and track your top 10 pro team for each FLW Tour event. Woo! Join Players Advantage to access exclusive angler information, expert picks, live weigh-ins, and more. Make fantasy sports history. Log on to FantasyFishing.com and take home your share of $7.3 million. Tune in next week as the Walmart FLW Redfish Series heads to Panama City, Florida. The top redfish anglers in the country battle it out in the Gulf of Mexico for a big payday. That's next week here on FLW Outdoors. Welcome back to the Charlotte Convention Center where the excitement is increasing. The lead has changed hands, but more than half the field still has to weigh in. Berkeley Pro Glenn Brown has two top 10 finishes in a row. Last time he finished in ninth place. This time he'll do a lot better. He takes the lead from Brent Ayler, but how long can he hold it? Castrol Pro Mike Sermon broke off a big fish earlier today and he wasn't able to come back from that loss. He doesn't have enough to unseat Glenn Brown, and he is sent to the showers. Snickers pro Greg Pugh found a sweet spot at the end of the day and surged ahead. Those quality fish put him five ounces ahead of Glenn Brown, and he is the new leader. Scott Canterbury is this season's rookie sensation. He has faced Greg Pugh in two consecutive top tens. Canterbury came out ahead last time. Can he do it again? He's got five fish here that weigh 10 pounds, 15 ounces, a new leader, Scott Canterbury. For the second event in a row, rookie Scott Canterbury has beaten the odds, and his wife Dixie and their daughter are here to cheer him on. BP <laughs> Pro Jim Moyna <laughs> is next. He's been in the top three since this event began, and he is hungry for a win. He's had 11 top tens, including three second place finishes since his last victory back in 1997. He's been consistently good, but he hasn't been able to close the deal. Maybe his time has come. He began the day less than a pound away from the lead. Could this be the day he finally claims the title of champion? Yet he needs nine pounds, 11 ounces. He's got a five best limit here that weighs in at nine pounds, 14 ounces, a new leader, Jimona. So Jim Moyna pulls ahead, but by just four ounces. 
It's a very slim lead, and there's still one man who can take it all away. Yesterday's leader, Sean Hernke, has a very impressive resume, but it's still missing one thing, a Walmart FLW Tour victory. The final weigh-in is next. Motors and lessees get six thousand dollars total cash back on an 08 Tahoe. FLW Outdoors from the National Guard Open is brought to you by M&M's. Chocolate is better in color. U.S. Bank, home of the five-star service guarantee. Kellogg's, the best to you. BP Beyond Petroleum. Lawrence, we lead, we find, you win. And Chevy, the official ride of FLW Outdoors. The 2008 National Guard Open is down to two men. Sean Hernke wants to prove himself on the Walmart FLW Tour. Jim Moyna wants to put a decade-long dry spell behind him. Sean Hernke steps up carrying the National Guard leader bag. He said he wanted 13 pounds today, and he gave it all he had. He fished like he was in control. He knew when to stay on a spot and when to move. He kept working the fish, and when he went looking for kickers, he knocked it out of the park. He knew he had to go big or go home. And Sean's first three fish looked pretty good. The crowd seems to like them. Yeah, you need more than that. I need more than that? <laughs> You'll need more than that. How many do I have so far? You've got uh, three out of a possible five batch to limit. I think I have some more. He has some more. <laughs> Sean Herky. All right, Jim, on a step up here. And let's watch. We're getting ready to declare the National Guard Open Champion, John Hernke. He needs nine pounds and five ounces to be our new leader. He's got five fish that weigh a total of 13 pounds, 11 ounces, your champion, John Hernke. A couple of big fish made the difference. After winning tournaments at every other level of FLW Outdoors competition, Sean Hernke is the Walmart FLW Tour National Guard Open Champion. And look at the lead he opened up today. Second place Jim Moyna is four and a half pounds behind. Scott Canterbury comes in third. Everyone goes home with a great payday. But none are as good as the check Sean Hernke receives from Major Tim Aiken of the North Carolina Army National Guard. This is the kind of money dreams are made of. And winning the 2008 National Guard Open is certainly a dream come true for Sean Hernke. Here's a look at the Land O'Lakes Angler of the Year standings. With the regular season halfway over, Andy Morgan is still in the lead. Glenn Brown is in third place, Greg Pugh in seventh. Bryn Ayler and Bud Pruitt are also in the top 20. And in the Duracell Rookie of the Year race, with two top tens, Scott Canterbury is in the lead. The pros were not the only winners here at Lake Norman. A high school senior from Northern California, John Yandel, is our $100,000 fantasy fishing winner for this event. When I found out I won the 100 grand, I was shell-shocked to say the least. It was awesome. My first love, I mean, was definitely rugby. John Yandel, fall half, sophomore. Got pretty seriously injured in my third game, and I actually lost one of my kidneys, my left kidney. I think we have an injury here. We have an injured Spartan down on the field. And being a pretty competitive guy and not liking to, you know, sulk over my injury, I wanted to get out and do as much as I could physically. That's when one of my friends introduced me to fishing. When I saw that they were doing a fancy fishing league on FLW Outdoors, I definitely decided I'm going to go after it. It was free to play, you know, it was fun. So I signed up, picked my team, and the rest is history. I'm going to get my dad some new golf clubs to help his game out a little bit. And uh, I got to go get a new rod and reel. 
fancy fishing. It's a new thing. Fancy football, fancy baseball have been around for a while now, and I think fancy fishing is going to probably take the forefront. If you're new to fishing, the player's advantage is a big key part of what you need to know. It gives you key information. Going to deal South, football is probably what we're best known for around the nation. We were state champions Division One. It doesn't get any better than that. Now to be winning this fantasy fishing and winning $100,000, just the icing on the cake of a, you know, it's a great year so far. Congratulations. Way to go, John. And way to go, Sean. He's taking home his first Walmart FLW Tour trophy. A great way to wrap up the 2008 National Guard Open. Join us next time for the 2008 Walmart Open on Beaver Lake in Rogers, Arkansas. And log on to FLWoutdoors.com for complete tournament coverage and live webcasts. For more fishing action, call 866-567-1960 to subscribe to FLW Outdoors Magazine. For Charlie Evans, I'm Jason Harper. We'll see you next time right here on FLW Outdoors.